to another episode of Lost in Austin. Today we are at Target Lake Line, you guys. Now at this point, you've been a Target, I've been a Target, we've been a Target together. So I think it's safe to assume that we all know what the inside of Target looks like. So what we don't know is what the Instacart app looks like, right? And so I know a lot of people may have questions about that. So what I wanted to do today was something that was a little different. And that is showing you guys what the interface for the Instacart app looks like. Now, nine times out of 10, if you see me out gigging or hear about me gigging, I am using the Instacart app. And I'm going to tell you guys, I use this app because I find it to be uh, the best pain, the most time efficient, um, and to have the most user-friendly interface. So for me, it's just a lot easier to use than some of the apps that I've used before. So here we are in Target. Let's take a quick look at what we're shopping for today and then we'll talk a little bit more about this experience. All right, so once I've entered the store and grabbed a cart, the very first thing I do is find a quiet place to send the customer a message, some place that is not impeding someone else's movement. Once I've sent the greeting, my next step is to go through the shopping list. Going through the shopping list is so important and let me tell you why. What you wanna do, you wanna have an idea of exactly where you're going. You wanna know if you're shopping for frozen goods, you wanna know if you're shopping for ice cream, you wanna know if you're shopping for uh, processed foods because if you know the store, you know exactly where these things are and it's going to make you be a much more efficient shopper and time is money. So the quicker you can get this done, the quicker you can get your money and be off to a new batch and making more money. Uh, so this batch, by the way, paid $45. Um, I believe the backstory on this batch was uh, two teenage daughters who were having their wisdom teeth removed. And so she was trying to, you know, find some soft foods that would help them in their recovery process after having that process completed. So I'm grabbing soup, as you can see, um, and this is the interface. This is what it looks like. Um, I like to sometimes enlarge the photo so I can make sure that I'm getting exactly what we want. So we've sent our message, we've reviewed our list, we have our map in our head, and it is now time to start scanning. So the first item is this Panera soup. I like to enlarge the image sometimes so I can make sure that I'm getting the right product in the right size. And now you'll see me actually scanning this into the app. So one item down that quick, we're off to the next items. I'm also, again, just going through the list here, just again, refreshing that map in my brain. And making mental notes along the way so so far we have our first scan which is that Panera soup so that was pretty easy as you can see you just pick it up you find the barcode you scan it and it automatically removes it from the shopping cart so that is exactly how that works so now that we've gotten that done again I'm going through this list I'm making those mental notes and I am again creating that roadmap so that I know how to get this done as quickly as possible so let's go off to our next item all right, so now you'll get to see something interesting. You get to see me communicating with the customer. So this customer is doing something that does happen on occasion. They're asking to add additional items to their grocery shopping list. When this happens, try to accommodate the customer if you can. Sometimes it can be a little frustrating, but I try not to be bothered by it. Um, I'm often you know, prone to forgetting things, so certainly customers are human, so they may forget things as well. So the customer is asking to add some original macaroni and cheese. I was a bit confused because for me, there are two types of macaroni and cheese. There's the one with the powdered cheese, and there's also the one with the cheese sauce so I was wanting to get clarification on exactly which one the customer wanted and so you'll see that here in the text message me trying to get clarification on exactly which product the customer is wanting there was a little bit of a, a a breakdown in communication if you will but we got it figured out I was able to determine that the customer wanted the powdered cheese and you'll see that confirmation here in our text messages here Okay, so we've sent the message to the customer. We are now waiting for a response. While we're waiting for that response, don't stop shopping. Continue to shop. Time is money. You want to get in and out of the store as quickly as possible, so don't wait for a response. What I like to do if I've sent the customer options, I grab the options and I put them inside of the cart. So that way when the customer does respond, I can simply scan the one that they want and put the ones that they don't want back. Um, here it looks like we found pie crust, so we're going to go ahead and get these pie crusts scanned. And if you also take notice, you'll see the number two in the quantity field, that means the customer wanted two of those. So we grabbed two of those pie crusts for the customer. So again, if you see that number two, just be aware that it denotes that the customer wants two of those particular items. So we now have the pie crust. We also have our Panera soup. We're off to find our next item. Again, you saw that disappear from the list and that is again, precisely how it works. It's so easy and so simple. All right, so, so far we have our pie crust, our Panera bread. We're going back to our list to refresh, 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 refresh. Do not be afraid, unless you're a person who has photographic memory, to go back to that list and refresh as often as you need to. Looks like I'm here in the frozen food section, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting some of these items scanned. I believe the first item up at that is going to be our zucchini spirals. So let's go ahead and grab those and get those scanned. 
Okay, so while I scan things into the app, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about my shopping experience with this particular badge. This customer was the sweetest customer ever. Now listen, you are going to come across some challenging customers. I'm just going to be completely frank with you. I haven't had many, but I have had a couple. Um... But this lady was not one. She was just extremely pleasant, kind. You know, there are some times where you're having exchanges with customers and you think to yourself, like, not to be weird, but I would actually be your friend in real life. <laughs> in real life. Sometimes you really just get a really pleasant vibration from a customer and you think uh, to yourself, like, this is a really good person. They have really good positive energy. And this customer was one. I also had a customer once who I was shopping for and she was picking up wine from, uh, what's the company called? Uh... Total Wine. So she was getting wine from there, and she picked up a bottle of wine called Sun Goddess, which was by Mary J. Blige, who is a singer that I actually know and love. And I had no idea that Mary J. Blige had a wine line until this customer ordered it, and so I just commented on it when I was delivering it, and this customer insisted that I take the bottle of wine. Now, I don't even drink alcohol, and I tried to refuse it multiple times, but she simply would not take no for an answer, so I wound up with a bottle of Mary J. Blige wine that my customer insisted that I take because of me simply commenting on it. And the reason I'm telling that story is because you're going to run into some really, really good people out here that will change your perspective on humanity <laughs> to some degree. Okay, so before I go too far off topic, you know, I just had a light bulb go off and internal timer of some sort that said to me, we haven't heard back from the customer. So I decided to circle back around to that conversation about the mac and cheese just to get confirmation on exactly which one she wanted. If you recall, we were trying to get clarification on the dry cheese versus the cheese sauce or the dehydrated cheese, however you choose to phrase it. Um, so no response from the customer. So what I wanted to do was to go back to the conversation and this time I decided to, instead of sending a message, I wanted to send her pictures of each product, hoping that that would elicit a response from the customer. So that's me taking an image of the cheese sauce, the mac and cheese with the cheese sauce, with a question mark. And I'm also going to take a secondary image of the dehydrated cheese in hopes that that will elicit a response. So just trying to do my best to over communicate with the customer because again, people spend a lot of money for this service. People spend top dollar in order to get their products delivered to them. You know, there is a convenience tax and having uh, your groceries delivered to you. And so I want to make sure that if I'm providing this service, I'm going above and beyond and doing as much as I possibly can just to make sure that they're getting the products that they purchase. Okay, so I've sent the customer images of the cheese sauce and also the dehydrated cheese. I placed them both in the cart. So as I mentioned earlier, once the customer responds, I can go ahead and scan their preferred item and put the one that they did not want back on the shelves. That'll help to cut down on my time and again, make me much more efficient. So got that done. It's time to get back to our shopping list. So while we're back to the shopping list, I want to continue my story. So, um... I was mentioning how awesome this customer was. So we pretty much got everything that they wanted off the list. Once we got everything that we wanted off the list and we were off to make our delivery, I get to the delivery location and the customer is standing out front waving. The, first of all, the home is absolutely beautiful. That is another thing that you must understand about Instacart. <laughs> Instacart will do one of two things. It will make you look at your life and say, man, I have not <laughs> made the right choices. <laughs> I have got to do something better with my life because when you see the way other people are living out here, um, it's just like, wow, I need some of that. I need a piece of that. So for me, I find it inspirational when I get to go to beautiful homes. So uh, she had this beautiful home. She was standing out front. And when I got out the car to take the groceries over, she handed me a $20 bill. Uh, this is my first cash tip. I'll include an image of it at the end of this video. But it was my first cash tip. She handed me a $20 bill. In addition to the $20 bill, this was a $45 batch. You guys, it took me probably a half hour to get this completed. So that's $45 I got through the app plus a $20 tip. That is $65 for like a half hour's work. I'm trying to tell you, get on Instacart tomorrow do not wait there is just so much opportunity out there and again you get to meet, meet some really cool people in the process
All right, so we are making great progress. Looks like we found a couple of soups. We've scanned our macaroni and cheese that she wanted. We've also placed the ones that she did not want back. Uh, so it looks like all we have now is some pineapple juice and a couple of Celsius drinks here. Uh, in addition to that, we have a couple of toys that she wanted, so we gotta go grab those. And then once we grab those, we should be on our way to our delivery. Do you see how easy this order was? $65. Incredible. Okay, so what you're watching now is the replacement process. The customer wanted a particular flavor of this Celsius drink that Target did not have in stock. So I had to send messages advising them that that flavor was not in stock, got their approval to replace it with different flavors, and that is what you're seeing unfold now is a replacement process so that we get the customer an alternate flavor. And this is really important because the last thing you want to do is refund a customer. And the reason I say that is because how much you make depends on the value of the batch. And so every time you refund a customer, your earnings are decreasing. So if you can replace the item versus having to refund them, you definitely want to do that any opportunity that you have. Um, you also see me here replacing the pineapple juice. The customer wanted individual cans of pineapple juice. Target did not have those individual cans available. I know that because I went to the Target app to confirm that they were indeed out of stock at that particular store. So there was no sense of me going from aisle to aisle looking for an item that was not in stock. So I knew that those were not in stock. So I went ahead and replaced those for the customer. And again, by doing that, I'm helping to make sure that the amount that I earn on this particular batch is not reduced because I'm having to offer refunds to the customer. Okay, so I know I mentioned to you guys earlier that the reason I was confident that the pineapple juice was not available in this particular store was because I went onto the Target app and I was able to confirm that this particular store was out of stock on the individual cans of pineapple juice. So this is how I do this. Go to the Target app, have both apps open when you're shopping, type in the name of the product that you're looking for, and you will see 
once we pull the product up at the very top of the screen, it shows that this product is not available. So that way you know that there is no need for you to look high and low. It just simply does not exist in this particular store. So it saves a lot of time and energy. And this is definitely a pro tip. Put this in your tool belt. I promise you, it will save you lots of time and definitely lots of frustration from having to look for products. And also, if the product were here, this app would tell us exactly which aisle to locate that product. So this is a good thing to do whenever you're using Instacart or any other app. Okay, so we've confirmed that the pineapple juice, the individual cans are not available. We've gone ahead and replaced that with the larger can. We are now communicating with the customer, just adding a little bit of humor into the shopping trip, which is what you see here. Um, we're almost wrapped up here pretty soon, so let's go and grab the Etch-A-Sketch, and I believe we need to get a coloring book. And once we have those two items, this is a complete trip, so let's get it done. Okay, so again, another item that the customer wanted that Target did not have in stock. So I got the customer's permission to replace the coloring book, which is what you see happening now. So we got a new coloring book for the customer. I also used the Target app to locate the Etch-A-Sketch. It was on an end cap, so it wasn't in the actual aisle. So just be aware of that. Sometimes if they tell you an aisle, that aisle, it could be on the end cap for that aisle. So found the Etch-A-Sketch. We're getting this coloring book scanned in as a replacement, and we are on our way to checkout. And again, this was easy, quick simple not a bulky order but a 65 dollar payday so it's a win in my book so let's get this checked out and let's get this delivered to the customer so we can get on to our next order
Okay, so let's head to the register and get this all bagged up. Instacart has made it even easier for us by allowing us to add our payment card to our Apple wallet. So that's going to make for a seamless checkout experience. So let's get this done, bagged up, and over to the customer. And I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of Lost in Austin. I hope it was informative. If you have questions about Instacart or any other gig app, I do a quite a few of them. Uh, again, leave comments below. I have some upcoming apartment tours that I'm planning here pretty soon. So we'll get back to basics as well. For those of you who are purists and started with my channel when it was renting Austin, we'll see some more of that content coming up soon. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video. Do me a huge favor, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Take care and stay safe. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I see it again? <laughs> did, first, did you have a target circle number? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Can I see it one more time? So we got $10 taken off from that, so $27.10. Yep. It was only $10 on that, right? I know. Yeah, it's gone now. You're good. As long as you pay, it's gone. <laughs> Well, he wasn't.